Hey guys, uh, today I'm uh, doing another brew on the Grandfather, uh, and it's going to be a test run of the um, the new uh, Grandfather app with cloud-based recipes uh, available now. So let's head over to the Grandfather um, web page and throw together a quick recipe just to give it a test but we don't want to waste our ingredients and make something that's not pleasant so we're gonna make a good one and right up here is the new recipe obviously if you've used this before you know how to do this i want to go 21 liters because i'm aiming for uh you know 19 liters to fill a keg i don't want any extra leftovers and things like that so the first thing is we are going to go um, pale. You just type into the Dropbox and it all comes up. Uh, beards pale um, 4.55. This is uh, a grain base off uh, the Panhead Supercharger. Uh, crystal 60.2, it's uh, 200 grams, and toffee, Gladfield's toffee, 0. 0.250, um, uh, so that gives us 5 kilo grain base, which I know is going to need 17 litres of uh, strike water and 13 litres of sparge water. Uh, add hop. Okay. Uh, again, we get a drop box. Pacific Jade. 10 grams for the 60-minute boil. Add hop. Uh... Amarillo, uh, 20 grams for 10 minutes. Uh, add hop, whoops, add hop, uh, antinium, I can't, antinium I suppose it's called, uh, 20 grams for 10 minutes, add hop, uh, we'll Simcoe, Simcoe, um, we'll go 50 grams, uh, hop stand for 20 minutes, add, um, uh, where do we go? Citra. Uh, and 50 of that. Hop stand for 20 minutes. Add hop. Uh, citra. Uh, 50. Dry hop for three days. Okay, add yeast. Uh, we'll go US05. Uh, oh my goodness, do I have to type it in capitals? Here we go. Um, two packets, and I generally get about 80% efficiency, so we'll go with that. Extra, oh, extra. Irish moss, 15 grams. Uh, boil. Fifteen minutes. Uh, 
67, 75, 18, yeah, uh, fragmentation step one, we'll go copy that. Fermentation two, three degrees for ten days. Um, and I'm pretty certain that's all we need to worry about. Uh, add style. Uh, IPA. American IPA. Uh, give it a name, Grandfather Test IPA. Um, that is looking like it. Okay, so before we crush our grains, we'll just that's the cute little icon for the Grandfather Connect app, it's the Connect control box. Okay, so we've got our strike water manually heated, preheated to 65. Um, now, what do I do? Go connect. Scan for devices. There we go. So we're on, we're on form. Excellent. Right, we'll get on with crushing these grains. Threaded plate goes on the top. <sighs> and here's a look at the hops. We got 10 grams Pacific Jade, 20 Amarillo, uh, 20. Athenium, uh, 50 of Simcoe and Citra for the Whirlpool, and 50 of Citra dry hop for three days. Okay, so we've just been given a warning uh, uh, to uh, start heating 13 litres of uh, sparge water, which I've already got preheating up here and it's at 75 it's all set to go so we are golden i'm liking this new app so far it's quite uh it's quite good and it uh, automatically um switched over to uh heating for mash out which is pretty good 
because uh, previously uh, with my uh, brewer's friend, I found it difficult to work out how to do, you know, mash out and, and sparge and, and that, using it as an imported recipe for the grain fiber. So this is working out really good. And if you uh, are wondering why I'm not catching the beeps, because now the the way it works uh, is instead of beeping until I push something for it to carry on, it just gives a it gives a quick beep and then goes to the next stage. So we've just hit mass out temperature where we did. We were at 75. That's now 74, but it fluctuates a little. And we've got nine minutes and ten seconds to go. Okay, start boil timer. One hour. Sixty minute hop edition. Okay, so we need to get this in. Quick pronto. There we go, nice rolling boil. 10 grams Pacific Jade. Okay, so any minute now I'm going to be prompted uh, for my 15 minute, which I know is 15 grams of Irish moss. So I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see. there we go done okay so it's prompting me to add the 10 grams uh, uh, the 20 grams of atinum and 20 grams of amarillo okay so that's the last hop drop in the boil and then we've got the hop stand for 20 minutes uh which i will get it to around around 80 degrees okay so we've reached the end of the boil now i'm going to start the hop stand by adding See, it says add hops and press set to start hop stand timer. This has gone so freaking well. Oh, damn it. I forgot to freaking call it down. Anyway, that's all right. I'll call it down. Shit. That's going to add some bitterness, but uh, we will get to it. Target temperature eighty. Okay, we're we're fairly close to uh, temperature, and I'm gonna set this to go eighty four. Close enough. 80, 83, so as soon as I hit 80, I'm going to turn the water off uh, and just let it maintain itself at 80. Okay, turn the water off. And let it maintain itself. Okay, so we've now got brew... Would you like to exit this brew session? Yes. Okay. Targets. Let's see. Okay. So, what we need to do is start the pump running. Get this water going. Reading of our Wurtz temperature. 
Yep, we have got uh, 18 degrees coming out of there. So I've already I've already sanitized this sieve. I'm now going to take this off of here and run it under there and pump it out. should have got 1.056 so I'm pretty happy with that that's approximately 75% efficiency so we've done fairly well um, I am going to make sure that I have got my my literage at the end and we'll see how we're looking <laughs> Okay, brew day complete. Final thoughts on the the new uh, the new grandfather Android app. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Um, it was very easy to navigate my way around it. It didn't it didn't crash once. Um, my numbers were correct. Um, I'm having this is my Black Balls IPA that I. Uh, the first brew I did on the grandfather um, and I got like 60% efficiency because my crush was too fine and it I got a stuck sparge and it was a mission to I didn't know what to do so all I could do was stir it while it was um, draining because it wouldn't drain any other way um, but anyway uh, and it's so it's lighter uh, lighter than it should be it's more like a dark brown ale a uh, dark brown ale yeah, than a than a black IPA and it's lost a bit of its characteristics but it's an okay beer it's it's a good one for a first first brew um, starting out um, <sighs> do like and subscribe if you feel that way inclined uh, I'm gonna have a beer. I've just got the uh, recycle, uh, the uh, cleaning cycle going, and uh, still a mighty good drop. Just um, a little subdued on um, on the malt backbone like yeah but uh overall not bad not bad at all okay so i'll bid you farewell and uh i'll get on with my with my cleanup uh cheers